Hey, my name is Sucky, a Godzilla anime, you say? And now we played a waiting game for the next actual Godzilla movie. And for those of you who aren't caught up, a deal was struck between Legendary and Toho about the usage of Godzilla, where to give way for Godzilla and the Legendary Monsterverse to move on, there wouldn't be any new Toho live-action Godzilla movies till the year 2020. Japan Godzilla movie coming out, they cannot make it till after 2020. Oh. And in their place, we got this new Godzilla anime movie trilogy coming along. I personally can't say anything else about them just yet, seeing as I've yet to see even the first one. But one thing's for certain. Oh, let's break it. And all that brings us to the figure right here. And being my very first SH Monster as Godzilla figure, I'm damn loving it. The painting and the sculpting of this figure is amazing. Despite the grayscale feel of the figure since it's only using one main color, which is green, green, the figure balances it out with phenomenal sculpting. This blend between muscles and rock textures is definitely a highlight. And I gotta give high points for the dorsal plates, because as you can see, they're sculpted and painted to look like leaves, and it really does fit the plant aesthetic of this version of Godzilla. Not to mention that they're actually pretty- ah! Don't go letting kids play around with these. As amazing as he looks and feels though, there are minor issues that pop up every now and then. I don't know whether or not these bright green dots of paint are meant to be intentionally littered all over the figure, but it just looks kinda like a big slop job. And speaking of slop, there's this other issue with his shoulder pads here. They kind of just float around and dangle loosely, and if you're not careful, you might even get it stuck turned upside down. So make sure to grab onto those shoulder pads while moving the arms. And a major flaw this figure has, it's easily prone to expose the big gaps while posing. Which doesn't bother me personally, seeing as action figure engineering will always have figure kibble. But a warning to all of you, if you suffer from OCD, avoid this figure at all costs. This figure comes with a card, which has pretty basic labelings as you can see. Flip to the back, and you'll see this illustration that seems to be an early concept art, dating all the way back to April of 2015. To give you all a perspective, Shin Godzilla hasn't even went into shooting yet. And speaking of Shin, he doesn't come with any other accessories. A present day SH Monster Arts Blue, but if you have some other effect parts at your disposal, it may be another Godzilla's breath effect, and maybe even a Banai Tamashii's Nation Act 5 stand. Just let your creativity run wild. Ball joint at the head, jaws on a hinge joint, ball joint at the base of the neck, which allows him to look up that far and down that far, as well as from side to side. Shoulder caps can rotate, ball joint at the arm, arm moves out, double bend at the elbow, and a double ball joint at wrist. Ball joint at the chest and at the waist, which allows for arcs and crunches, and some side to side. Ball joint at hips, allows for a kick, can move back that far, pretty good spread, bend at the knee, and you get the last three lower leg segments on ball joints, which allows for a pretty sweet pivot. And finally we go to the impressive SH Monster Arts tail, 11 individual ball jointed segments, which allows for some real organic tail posing. Can't really point upwards due to the construction of the figure, but if you point it downwards, you can really see the skill of this figure come to fruition. And speaking of scale, He's a pretty big boy in my collection. Here's Figma Kansaki Ronko, NECA 94 Godzilla, NECA GMK Godzilla, Tokisaki Kurumi, and um... Cheap useless kids toys. Many flaws aside, I'm having a damn blast with this figure. And now I see why the SH Monsters Godzillas have been where it's at in terms of posable Godzilla action figures. And I'm not gonna hesitate to call him an amazing figure. Uh -huh. The price can be a bit scary, but seeing as it's Bandai, I think it's fair enough for what you get so far. If you're into the new Godzilla anime, or just want a unique looking Godzilla with versatile posability, this guy is a pretty worthy pick. One! <laughs> No, no, no.